We are deficient. Our uh, food is deficient. Um, in fact, there's been scientific study done on the decline of the nutrient content of foods over the decades, and the data is there to show that, you know, since the early, say 100 years or so ago, um, we're down half the nutrient content of what the, the crops used to have. And then, of course, you get into the GMO issue, and that's causing all kinds of health problems. People are having gastrointestinal issues, allergies, you name it. And um, even uh, there's evidence that cancer and tumors and all these things are, are related to the GMO. So with the New Start guests, when we start telling them about the uh, soil and putting the minerals back into the soil, uh, that gets them really interested. And I tell them about the ocean minerals. The ocean has 90 minerals plus in it, and they're held in perfect balance. And the um, minerals provide a lot of trace elements that are lacking in our soils. Now our soils, as you get further away from the North Pole and you come down towards the equator, the amount of minerals available in the soil gets less and less. And right here where we are in California, we have about 15 or 16 minerals in the soil. And um, so when we put the sea water, or the we buy it dehydrated, it's called C90. It looks like a sandy salt. We broadcast it onto the field. It's, it's a very light amount, so it's not toxic because of the sodium. And um, the plants love it, and it has a healing effect on our bodies. One of the things that I never expected to happen, last year I started using it, well, not for the first time, but on a lot of our crops for the first time and in eating the food from it I was healed from a disease that I'd had for nearly 30 years called seborrheic dermatitis. There was no cure. The doctors just prescribed a very toxic shampoo and creams to, to put on it when it would break out and it would break out if I didn't use the shampoo um, it, for three days it would just break out. Uh, so. Uh, all of a sudden it just cleared up and it's gone away and it hasn't come back and that's a miracle to me so I believe that when we put the right minerals into the soil and feed our plants they in turn feed us those minerals and we're deficient our uh, food is deficient um, in fact there's been scientific study done on the decline of the nutrient content of foods over the decades and the data is there to show that you know, since the early, say 100 years or so ago, um, we're down half the nutrient content of what the, the crops used to have. And then of course you get into the GMO issue and that's causing all kinds of health problems. People are having gastrointestinal issues, allergies, you name it. And um, even uh, there's evidence that cancer and tumors and all these things are, are related to the GMO. A lot of people are ignorant about it and um, we need to be steering well away from that food. It's not safe for us. It hasn't been tested by, um, by neutral parties. Um, there's no regulatory um, oversight by the government. They've basically given them a free hand on it and um, a lot of people are concerned about that and, and we should be because the number of health issues that we're seeing today is astronomical. It's, uh, it's growing leaps and bounds. In fact, since the uh, time that GMO uh, crops were released to the public, um, if you see a graph where you see the from the beginning and it's as the increase in the number of um, GMO crops and the amount of GMO food that is in our uh, supermarkets for us to eat, the rise is almost parallel to the health issues that people are facing and the evidence is there that we should steer well away from GMO foods and, um, and get back to organic heirloom, um, you know, food that's going to be good for us and, and uh, restore health. So our New Start guests are very interested in this because many of them come here with um, diabetes, obesity, heart problems, all kinds of different lifestyle related uh, diseases 
and they come for about 18 days and after they've been here for that time many of them um, are like diabetics many of them are off their insulin um, they've seen dramatic results just in 18 days it's incredible what getting back to just the basics that God gave us you know what that does for our health and so we see miracles all the time we see God at work